We humans often think that we're the pinnacle of the evolutionary design. Unlike other animals, we create literary and artistic masterpieces. We design architectural marvels, and we hold three-minute theses. We often apply these feelings of superiority to other scientific fields, such as immunology, perhaps rightfully so. Our immune system is very complex. We have many different types of antibodies, or weapons of our immune system, as shown on the left hand of the slide. Now, each of these antibodies has a specific function and location in the body. So, some antibodies are great for fighting bacteria. Others are specialized for parasites. Some are found solely in our mucus. Some are found in our bloodstream. In contrast, fish have one antibody. That is, they have one type of antibody to fight super bacteria, viruses, and parasites in which they constantly swim in. So, what does this mean? <laughs> well, we may view them as simplistic organisms. However, the purpose of my study is to step off my high horse as a human and to determine if fish have evolved alternative but equally complex methods of fighting disease. What I found was surprising. Yes, fish do have only one antibody, but for the first time, I've shown that nature has given them a Swiss Army knife. Unlike humans, they can alter the chemical bonds within that single antibody. And in doing so, they change its flexibility and its function. Thus, with that single molecule, they are able to carry out all the functions that we've allocated to multiple types of static antibodies. Thus, they've developed an elegant solution to dealing with disease. And it makes our way of doing things with multiple static types of antibodies seem, well, almost cumbersome. So why does this matter to you? Well, surprisingly, the majority of our fish come not from the ocean, but from aquaculture or fish farms. But each year, fish farms close due to the outbreak of disease. In fact, one of the largest in the world, found here in Massachusetts, closed due to a severe outbreak. Thus, if we gain a better understanding of the fish immune system, we can design better vaccines, which means greater protection of fish to disease, which means greater production of seafood, which to you, the consumer, means a cheaper fish stick.